I just got off the phone with the uh, client and the intermediary, the event organizers for the first speaking event that I'm doing, the first kind of proper um, DBA speakers organized event, um, which is next Friday up at uh, the Wire Forest up in Kidderminster. And uh, really go cool. Just felt very natural, felt very relaxed, apart from a few techie issues at the beginning. Like I couldn't dial into the conference call for some reason. So I had to do it through somebody else's mobile phone on speakerphone mode. Um, but apart from that, uh, I, I just I just feel like right now, I if I can, the more me I can be, the more relaxed, the more authentic, the more natural I can be. Um, I just need to be me. I don't need to try to be anybody else. I don't need to try to be um, more than I am. I just got to be all that I am. <laughs> Remember who it was that said that. Um, but I felt like kind of that 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 really worked well today. Um, a, a good call. Um, I I felt like not only did I give up. I mean, it's a done deal. I'm, I'm going there. I'm doing it. The contracts have been signed. But um, for me to be able to turn up on the day and to feel really relaxed and to deliver the best possible presentation to have the best possible impact on the day with the audience. I know that I need to feel relaxed. I need to feel like I'm, I know what I'm doing and in the sense of delivering uh, to their spec, to their brief. So I needed to be able to ask questions, but also listen to what it was that they wanted. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do that if I was um, trying to trying to uh, put on a front or anything like that. So I was just, just me. Um, and uh, it was, it was, it was really good. Anyway, um, later on this afternoon, I'm off to a swearing in ceremony, the swearing in ceremony for my friend Richard Venables, who's about to become the High Sheriff of Oxfordshire. So I've got to go into Oxford later on and um, go to the High Court. And uh, is the High Court? Maybe it's just the court. I don't know. It's the court in Oxford anyway, where he's going to be sworn in. And there's a drinky, nibbly, networking -y type thing afterwards, which um, could be interesting as well. So he's the guy who's really kind of pushed this plankathon. Um, so cheers, Richard. Thanks for inviting me along to your swearing in ceremony. And um, I'll, uh, I'll hopefully have a chance to chat to him at some point soon as well about what we're going to be doing next Friday at the Westgate Shopping Centre as we do the big flash mob plankathon on the final day. I'm going to leave this open, this video now, because I might do another quick um, a quick, uh, quickie later on and this afternoon I'm going to spend some time uh, more time on this talk um, for next Friday um, and then when I get to the the, the session the, 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 the swearing in ceremony either before, during or after I'll do another little vid um, but if I don't, bye for now if I do, then here's the next part of the video second part I made it to the High Sheriff swearing in ceremony. I've just got back from Oxford, sitting in the car at the park and ride, uh, about to head home again. Um, what a fascinating experience. I'm going to put uh, um, a, a picture up uh, into this video. In fact, I'll do it now. And it doesn't really give you the full gist of what <laughs> was going on but we had all the like there's loads of judges there and there was loads of um, the past high showers which is an, an office that goes back to saxon times apparently um, but it's fascinating and um I, I met up with some really really interesting people at the uh the drinks and canapes at the end as well um including a couple of people who i, who I knew one person in particular actually who i um well no there were two people who um, I, I knew from a dancing competition, a ballroom dancing competition that I was involved with, like a charity local Oxford version of Strictly Come Dancing. Um, and I was one of the celebrities dancing and uh, one of the other guys was there as well. It was just one, one of the guy was there. So we had a, had, had a, a chat about that. It was uh, the first time I've seen him since um, last time I think I saw him. He was wearing a, a rather tight sequined outfit. Um, and so was I. <laughs> so uh, no, no pictures of that one though um and uh, so yeah really really good really good uh end to the day so i'm gonna head back now i've got a few bits and bobs to finish off this evening work-wise um and i've got a big day tomorrow I'm, I'm speaking with a couple of people actually got a conversation tomorrow with um two people which will be interesting um and i will tell you more about that tomorrow because uh yeah, two two very very different conversations, two phone calls that I've had uh, scheduled in for a while now, um, which I'm looking forward to, uh, along with everything else that I'll be getting up to tomorrow. So uh, I'll check out from here and catch you again tomorrow. Bye for now.